this video, I'm going to show you how to create a product on your PayPal account using PayPal button. And with that being said, let's dive in. What you want to do is to log into a PayPal account and then navigate to PayPal button and click on it. And then here you want to click on the buy now button. So right now you can enter the name of the product you want to sell. So let's call it something like uh, men's t-shirts. All right, the price, let's call it $15.99. And here you can change the currency that you want to sell with. So here I'm gonna put maybe GBP and then here if you have like different colors and different um, uh, sizes, you can use this drop down um to sell it all right uh this one if you want to sell uh without price you can use this one uh, add a drop down menu without prices this one with prices and options so you can click here to uh let's say for example we use something like colors colors here you can put something like red and then put the price here 15.99 you can even use different price let's say this one black you can put this one like 20.99 and then this one maybe pink you can put it like 9.99 and when you're done you can add another option here if you want when you don't click on this done button and this one postage if you want to charge uh, for postage and you want to enter the price here let's call it 399 but if you don't want to charge you leave it empty all right and here i use my secure machine id which is good okay here you want to step two you want to track inventory profit and loss if you want to do that click here and then when you click track inventory then you need to uh, you know write uh put in details how much you bought it how many stock you have and the what's the cost to track your profit things like that you can use one of these options as well uh, yes a uh, customer can buy the item as usual no don't let customer to buy the item when your product is sold out you don't want customer to keep buying or if you want customer to keep buying you can check this one all right so but i would recommend using this one because you don't want to sell what you don't have in stock all right so here if you want to take customer to uh, another page um let's say if your product's finished and they click with they want to buy you might send them to a different page for more information about the product you're selling let's move into step three and here step three uh is this one do you want to let your customer change other quantity you don't want that you don't want to sell what you don't have so you want to keep it as no can your customer add special instruction in a message to you yeah customer can uh, send instruction like what they want customer can add instruction here maybe about size about color they can add um any details they want so you need to uh, make sure you check this one yes but if you don't need the customer to contact you to write any message just click no and there yeah, you need a customer address so if you are selling physical products obviously you're gonna need a call um customer postal address so you need to make sure this one is checked as yes but if we are selling like digital product that need to be delivered via email so you do not need this um you do not need the uh, postal address all right so you can put this one no so um this one is that like when customer cancel the uh product on their way to check out let's say they're about to make a payment they decided not to um buy your product they can click back to cancel the transaction when they cancel it they will go on this page this uh url that you're gonna pass here and then on the other one if you want customer to uh when they finish buying your first product if you want to send them to thank you page for for buying your product you can paste the url right here as well okay so uh you can you know do whatever you want to do uh with these two uh tab right here all right normally when i'm building sales funnels always use this um cancel and the checkout to redirect them to another offer after buying the uh, first product all right so i'm gonna be making tutorial showing you step by step on how to build a sales funnel using google site all right so i will cover this part as well adding my 
URL and showing you how it redirects to another page. All right, so if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe right now so you don't miss any of our weekly videos. All right, so now what you do when you finish this part, so we don't need this advanced variable. So what you need to do is to click create button. So this is the code. So what you need to do now is to copy this code. It's gonna look like this when you embed it on your web page. So let the code and copy the code. So now you copy the code and wanna go to your Google site to embed this code. Go to your Google site again, go to your drive. And here, if you don't have Google site, you can create one for free by using this tab. So now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste this code so you see how it works. Now I'm gonna click here to embed. Click embed and embed code and then embed this code. Now click next and then you can move it, position it in the center or anywhere I want it to be. So the customer can come and actually buy a product. You can actually come here. If you set a main t-shirt, you can use this icon to find a product image on Google, all right? So what you're gonna do, you can go there called men's t-shirt, just example to show you. Okay, and then we can just click this one and then click insert. And then this is men's t-shirt, you can put the price just beside it or you can just drag it under this. So when customer come here, they can select the color and price and buy the product. All right, so what you're gonna do, click publish, and then let's view the site. Okay, so this is our button. This is our prices here and the color. So you wanna select this color, and you wanna click buy now to buy the product. So you see, this is the price. So this is exactly how we create a product on Pempa and then embed it on your web page, either WordPress site or Google site, and then use it to sell your product. So another way you can do this now as well, let's go back to go back to edit this button. Let's edit this button. And then we can now delete this color variation right here and then keep this in a single product. So when you keep it a single product, you will have option to have a single line of link that you can place on our Google site and then use it to sell our product. So let's try that and see how it works. So we have seen how this one is working. You have to come here and select multiple options, okay, to buy your product. So now first we're gonna delete this one and then we're gonna keep the price, let's call it 10. And then you don't need these options. You might wanna leave a customer instruction message and postal address as well because you need it unless you're not selling physical product, all right? So now I wanna click save and then instead of copy this code, this is the code that we copied before. Now we gonna click on this email and this is the payment link that you're gonna copy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our page. So instead of us using this one, we're gonna just click button right here and then we're gonna call it buy now. So this is our custom button that we're creating uh, using Google uh, button element. And now we're gonna paste that uh, Pemper payment link right here to insert it. So this is how it's gonna be, all right? So now we're gonna move this thing right here, just under this one and you can delete this one. And now when you publish this site and then go and view the product, you need to refresh your page and then this is our button to buy now so when you click here it's gonna redirect you to Pemba payment session where you can now uh, enter your details to uh, purchase uh, the product so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do so don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one